Oh, it's, oh, you piss me off, Max. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, he made his move. Okay, I... No, that shouldn't work. He should have, like, his legs torn off or something. And this shouldn't work. He should be going as fast as the fucking train when he jumps off. And that train isn't going that slow. Okay, look, look. See how the train goes faster than Max, but, like, it should only go a little bit faster because Max is decelerating, but he's still going about how fucking fast the train was. I know this is wasted on most of you, but it's fucking physics. What has science done? And how can Vinny jump that far? Ugh, this game. And now, that's just... It's a video game, but... Some semblance of physics. Uh, I forget about these guys every time. And this is the reason I start hating this chapter. Because it starts off with pissing me off with wrong physics. And then forget about guys. And this is all shooting, barely any cinema. I think there's only one cinema scene. There's all shooting, and those guys spawn on the other side. This is what we have Desert Eagles for. Just, so you get a sniper rifle, the Desert Eagle is probably your best long-range weapon. And did I kill that guy? I guess I did. Hey, it sounds like a helicopter. Did you see Vinny over there? That was kind of cool. It sounds like a helicopter in the sky. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. There it is. Oh, time to fly. Because that always works. Just tell them that works every time. It's pain! He's coming down the stairs! Shoot the bastard! Okay, boss, you got it. No trouble. <laughs> These guys have to be like an allusion to some movie that I don't know off the top of my head. Otherwise, why would that cinema be important? Because, you know, these guys go down without even a fucking fight. I killed one guy by accident. I killed one of them by accident. So why would they get a cinema and cool music? There's no music for the rest of this fight, but I'm... I hate the next area. I'm not a painkiller, so... You see, I'm desperate enough to break boxes. Also, can you see Cold Steel? Cold Steel Office? That'll be important later. Remember I tell you to say things are important? Remember Candy? Remember... Remember Alfred. I told you about Alfred. Don't forget about One-Eyed Alfred. Is it Alfred? Or did I just spoil the game? Shit, I hate this part, though. I hate that part because I can never dodge out one guy without taking one hit. His buddy is easy, and the guy that's going to walk through the door... She, he should have gotten at least one shot off me, but he didn't. That dude behind the barrel always fucks with me. Every time. Every time. And you don't give it music for this. See, this seems like it should be a really, like, high, intense chase sequence, but there's no music, and it's really... It's really... doesn't feel that intense. I don't think it's not really an intense chase. You know Vinny can't go that far with a bullet in his stomach, like, because he's like a bottle of broken Tabasco is mask, masked... That's masked... Mask de la Pain. That'll be a cool... That'd be a cool game, Spanish Max Pain. Except I think they made that game and it was like... Oh, I can't even remember the name of the title, but it was like Max Payne, but there was a vehicle and jumping around. Total overdose or something. I don't know. I'm not talking about that game. I'm playing Max Payne right now. And you're going to watch me fail at jumping. I just engaged my bullet time, and there's really no reason to engage bullet time without diving in this game. Two, there's a good reason, but not this one. This one, you're just better off doing dive and shit. You see, I'm pretty low on health, and right here is a bit of a cheat moment. But it's sort of a thing you gotta know. Well, importantly, don't forget about that guy right there. This guy did. You'll see that later, trust me. I forget about that guy. Oh, I hate him so much. Oh, I hate this 
chapter. He's back, he's mean, and he's got a bed. Captain Baseball, that boy. Looks even more like Little Slugger and Killer. Freaking rich! Freaking rich! Even richer than that, wise guy. Freaking, freaking, freaking rich! Yeah, more rich is freaking, freaking rich. I always love how those things just like missile right to where the guy is standing. And you gotta be careful to fall on the boxes and not like on the ground and die. Cause that'd be bad. Indeed. I'm pretty sure Vinny didn't go this way, Max, so why are you here? How did you know he was there, Max? And it was almost like uh, you probably died there. No, that wouldn't have happened. I'm too good at this game to die. In fact, you never see me die. I've never died once playing this entire thing. Now this looks more like an area Vinny has gone through. Particularly because that, there's a dead guy. And a TV. Max Payne has nowhere left to go. We are very close to capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now. For now. When you're bragging, Max, you know, don't just add the for now. Makes you seem like an ass. Just my opinion, but... Makes you seem a little bit like an ass. I, I can hear him. Ready? Keep it done. Point at the door. This is it. Any moment now, Payne's gonna bust through that door with murder in his eyes. It's either him or us. I, for one, am gonna pump the SOB so full of lead, they'll need a forklift to carry coffins to the grave. That's the entire exchange. So, you know, let's prove him wrong and fail at killing his buddy. Grenade! No way to dodge that, you gotta go behind the wall. Press the phone and just get the shot of on me. Like, I've got it right now. Watch my health! Watch how it climbs up my body. All the way halfway up my body. If I had switched to a different gun, like, you know, a sane person, I would have, you know, not fucked up. You can't go that way. Even if you baseball bat those, bill those billboards, those 2 by 4s you can't go past that way, unfortunately. Shit, that's the best graffiti ever. I forget where I am. Is there a guy behind this door? Yeah, there's a guy behind this door. With a grenade, even. Well, we know took care of him. Now I know where I am. Uh, we're running low on time, so you gotta figure out what's behind this door? Vinny. Open, goddammit! That'll do it. I'll kill you, you lousy freaking cop! Didn't we try that already? Anyway, this is actually the boss section. That's why I added music. Yeah, grenade. Rich, you know, when you're low on health, you might want to just stand at the top and like, kill people before you don't like dive it down like an idiot like that. You got shot a bunch. Shit. And Vinny. Vinny's really easy. You want to know how you beat Vinny? By shooting him. Pro tip. From the master. That's it for Vinny. Gagnetti ran out of steam in a dead-end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shakedown time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh-huh. Just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me, take me in the home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. 
You're right to be ready at your funeral. Oh, Max, you are a cold motherfucker. But that's the end of that chapter, thank God. And uh, this part is winding down. I think there's only about two chapters left. One or two, I don't remember. And we will do those next video, which will probably be in like a week, two weeks. We'll see. So until then, this has been that Dave, and I will check you guys later.